corner is labeled Trim. When the system is engaged, the pilot uses this button to select the desired pitch and roll trim attitude. Simply fly the helicopter to the desired trim attitude and momentarily push and release the button. The helicopter will then hold the new trim pitch attitude as shown in this example. Pilots of large and military helicopters will recognize this as what is commonly referred to as force trim release. The heli sas may be instantly disengaged by momentarily pushing the sas off button located to the left of the trim button. In some cases it may be desirable to engage the sas without removing one's hands from the controls, such as in hover. This can be accomplished by pushing and holding the trim button for approximately two seconds or longer, as shown here. Note that engaging the heli sas by use of the cyclic trim button causes the SAS annunciator light located to the left of the temperature gauge on the panel to turn from a white off to a green on indication. Likewise, disengaging the system using the cyclic SAS off button causes the SAS annunciator light to turn from a green on to a white off indication. SAS disengagement is also accompanied by a 400 Hz oral tone in the headset consisting of four beeps. As noted earlier, the heli SAS may be engaged at any time. This could be especially useful if you are flying with the system disengaged and inadvertently encounter a loss of outside visual references. You realize that you are in trouble and immediately engage the heli SAS. As shown here, the attitude stabilization system will return the helicopter to a nearly level bank angle and pitch attitude. Another very important function of the heli SAS is to make it possible for pilots to accomplish routine cockpit tasks. With the heli SAS engaged, it is now possible to get out a chart and actually unfold it using both hands. This capability is also very useful for looking up information in various flight publications, tuning radios, or programming the GPS. The ability to easily accomplish divided attention tasks improves situational awareness and safety. This is well known by operators of commercial and military helicopters, all of which use some type of stability augmentation or co-pilot. The heli SAS provides attitude stability in all flight conditions. In this example, we are accomplishing a high hover with hands off the controls in light to moderate turbulence. This is followed by a slow pedal turn at zero airspeed, all with hands off the cyclic. This is a useful function to reduce pilot workload for missions that require long periods of out-of-ground effect hover, such as news reporting or police work. Note that the airspeed is essentially zero, except for small changes due to the gusting winds. The heli SAS trim pitch attitude is limited to plus 9 and minus 6 degrees. The trim roll attitude to plus and minus 5 degrees. These trim limits are implemented to ensure that the heli SAS will always recover to a near level attitude, no matter what the attitude when it is engaged. The trim limits also ensure that the pilot cannot inadvertently trim into an unusual attitude. In this example, we lift off, accomplish a pedal turn, and land and take off again with hands off the controls for essentially the whole time, except for a minor correction to keep from drifting in the pedal turn. Here's the pedal turn. Hands off vertical landing and lift off. It is intended that the system would be turned on from startup to shut down, especially in gusty wind conditions and in conditions of reduced visibility. Compare this with the stick activity for a SAS off vertical landing as shown here. The added stability provided by the heli SAS allows for safer hover operations in high wind conditions or if accomplishing precision tasks. For example, a helicopter test pilot instructor from a well-known test pilot school evaluated the ability to place a skid on a concrete fence. Without the SAS, the task was marginal to impossible. With the heli SAS engaged, he felt confident in doing the task. The heli SAS system consists of an attitude gyro shown here, 
or a strapped-down solid-state attitude and heading reference system, or AHARS, two servo actuators, and a digital flight control computer. The dual-channel, fail-passive flight control computer provides attitude augmentation or attitude augmentation plus autopilot functions. The Helisas system weighs 12.7 pounds, including the panel-mounted attitude gyro. The Helisas servo actuators were designed and built specifically for this system and include a clutch that disengages the Helisas from the flight control system when it is not engaged. One servo actuator controls pitch attitude. The other controls the roll axis. Installation of the complete system can typically be performed another 40 hours by an authorized Chilton Helisas dealer. In summary, the Helisas is an attitude stabilization and autopilot system designed to reduce pilot workload and enhance safety in all flight regimes. If you're interested in further information regarding Chelton's Helisas, contact Chelton Flight Systems or visit our website.